Okay, today we're going to epoxy that hinge together and fix this disaster. This hinge broke completely apart. You can probably see that pretty well. So, we need to get this up without damaging anything so that it's vertical without putting too much stress on. And we need to get this disassembled. This whole assembly needs to be taken apart without breaking anything worse than it already is. Especially the screen. Oh, Jesus. Don't lose these. <laughs> oh boy, that wasn't fun at all. You may have to hold it up while you take it apart. I'm sorry, I can't show you this much better. But I have to hold this whole assembly up. Uh-oh. Uh, is this one broken too? This one might be broken too. Oh boy. This computer was dropped from a table. Let's just go ahead and, I'm gonna use my fingernail, but you can use your whatever pry tools you have. Let's go ahead and get this front bezel off and out of our way. Oh yeah, that's trashed, okay. That's why it's not working. They have busted the brass anchors out on both sides. Set that aside for now. Oh, yeah, oh man. This is, uh, this is pretty atrocious. So, is that even going to anything? That's not even going to anything right now. It's just sort of hanging. Oh, that's terrible. I see what happened. Okay. We need to get this top half to let go. Uh... There is only one screw holding this together right now, and that is this one. The other hinge is completely broken in half. So let's get this popped off. Holy crap. Okay. Set that aside. Uh, you see, this is uh, a job that I epoxied previously. So that may actually not work as well as I'd like it to. Um, yeah, we're gonna put new hinges in this anyway. So assuming we can avoid destroying the plastic. This is the disadvantage to these epoxy jobs, is that you can't un-epoxy these things. You just, you just can't do it. It's not possible to un-epoxy. Um, you can crack it loose, but you can't undo basically super gluing it together. This is going to be difficult. We're actually going to have to do it this way. Yep. I think this might be epoxied down also. I'm having to use a lot of force and it's moving. Oh, come on now, don't do that. Don't move on me. Oh, come on. The tape is in the way of all things. I thought this might be fairly straightforward, but it looks like it's actually gonna be complicated. We have to fix the top half and ideally do it without without damaging this LCD, so we need to just get the screen out. Because those bad boys cost 60 bucks a pop. Well, they can cost less, but it's dicey sometimes ordering from the people it costs less from. Whoop. I cannot emphasize enough how difficult this is right now. It's not screwing up. I'm having to hold the base with my chest here. Come on, let's just get you out of here. Get out, get out, okay. Get out, all right, that thing's safely away. Oh. This 
cable needs to be freed. Ah, look at that. The hinge came free. So the display may have been holding it. All right. So we have a, we have two very bad hinges here and they need to be removed from the computer. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, let's flip this and this may take a lot of time to disassemble. Now that I'm looking at it, this may take quite a bit of time to get disassembled properly. Let's take this screw out. Here. Oh, come on. I'm going to go ahead and get this battery out. Get that set aside. Oh, yeah. That whole thing is falling apart. This hinge needs to come out. But what's holding it? I think this is the kind that has the uh, common backing plate design. So I'll probably speed this up. And you may not even be hearing me talk right now. I would do it gently, but there's nothing gentle about this. Uh, I'm pretty... No. I think I'm wrong. I don't think it... It does it. God almighty. This is really frustrating. Okay. Ahead and give ourselves a little extra there. Okay. Pry away, buddy. Pry away. Yeah, it does have a bottom plate here. Oh my god, why is it such a pain to get off? Why? Oh. Ow. That is incredibly difficult to detach. Okay. I hope you have pry tools. You'll never get this done without them. go there you go the bottom has let go we'll set him aside here's what's left oh wow the bottom is broken too we're gonna have to epoxy that back in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, see this, this plastic ring busted loose. It's gonna have to get put back. Let's get the bad hinges out. You may have to use a lot of force, but you wanna make sure you don't damage the computer any more than it already is. I mean, they dropped it. It's quite possible that it's toast, but we want to at least give it a fighting chance. The hinge screws on this particular Toshiba are longer than... No, I take that back. They're the same length as the other case screws. They only looked longer. But they weren't. You may have to bend the hinge by force to get it to worm out. Oh, and there's one of the things I don't like about them. The cord actually has to go inside of it. Oh, yeah. One bad hinge gone. I need that screw. Okay. Where'd that other bad hinge go? I know it's around here. Yeah, okay. It's over there. Now, we also need this busted part of the other hinge removed. <sighs> and as they say in France, voila, uh, they lost the other hinge cover. I'm tempted to just take this one out too because I'm tempted to just take this one out too because it's hanging by a thread already. I don't know if I can put that back or not. Wow. This is going to be a challenge. New hinges. Okay, this one goes here, this one goes here. So this is going to be difficult because we have to do this in a multi-pronged way. Um, this is the last hinge repair that this computer can take. I already repaired the hinges once. I am removing this, this is screwed. This is the last one. I've already fixed them once. You can see the epoxy if you look real carefully. I already fixed this once. I'm not fixing it twice. Hang on, I'll be back right after the cut. See, because so much of this plastic is damaged, and this is almost gone. Actually, that basically is gone. There's a lot that has to be repaired here. We're gonna have to put a lot of epoxy on here. This is Loctite Plastic Bonding Epoxy. It's in a purple bottle. It creates horrible fumes. In fact, let me go turn a fan on real quick. The fumes will make you sick, guaranteed. So we're gonna dish some out and mix it up. I have this piece of paper I folded over and taped. That's gonna serve as the That's going to serve as the mixer and applicator for our epoxy disaster here. We're going to need a fairly generous amount. Remember, I have to repair the plastics too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this stuff. Epoxy, uh, epoxy will actually make you more nauseous the more of the fumes you smell over time. So if you're exposed to epoxy fumes and then you're exposed again and then you're exposed again and the more and longer you're exposed the more sensitive you become to it so you actually will get sicker faster. So be real careful with this stuff. It is not kind at all. Oh, it's already making me not feel so super. 
fan can only do so much. So we have to apply this behind and on top of the hinge because there's really nothing for the hinge to attach to. It just has to be glued in place essentially. Um, part of this, remember, is that we are also, in addition to getting this hinge put back, We're also trying to get some of these anchors put back in place. Where did my new hinge go? That's the old one. That's the old one. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Now, there is a silver lining here in that. Uh, these little circles are still here and we can effectively exploit the little channel up here to keep this from moving too much. Yeah, there's six of those. The screwdriver may be too big for me to try and do it this way, but crud. This hinge is a little out of whack. It is definitely, oh, come on. Why must this be so difficult? I'll tell you why, because it's computer repair work. If it was easy, anyone could do it. No one would need me. Isn't that right? Just say yeah. Yeah, that's right. Whatever, no one cares. Now the only problem with putting this here is that LCD needs to go there. We definitely don't want that on the LCD. I mean, it's not going to kill it, but it is going to be kind of in the way. So let's remove the excess from here. And the screen's going to get cemented down no matter what I do, so I kind of have to get over that part get the other part of the base in. This stuff is supposed to set in five minutes. So, especially with the fan running, I don't have a lot of time to get this accomplished. Now remember, part of the difficulty with this is that you have to put the front bezel back on it at some point. You have to take into account the fact that that bezel's coming down and there are wires that have to go inside. While I've got this epoxy here, let's go ahead and fix this as well. want to touch the epoxy. There is a piece there. There really is no good way to do this. Uh, whatever. Let's just get it done. The worst part about this is that it's technically supposed to be a flat surface there, so... You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. I may have to get my fingers dirty. What a shame. Yeah, good luck getting that to sit flat. If you know some kind of magic trickery to get it all to sit nice and flat without having to rotate it like an idiot, feel free to let me know. The 
stuff is setting extremely quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's about as good as that's gonna get. It really doesn't matter that much anyway, so I shouldn't spend too much time on it. I'll set it aside, let it do its drying over there. These hinges, these hinges. Okay. I mean, the screen's gonna do what the screen's gonna do. There's not much else to be said about that. But this hinge right here, this time I think I'm gonna be a little smarter about it. I'm gonna actually put some on the bottom of the hinge here in the middle. So that it sort of glues itself. Yeah. That way I don't have to think about it so much. That'll have to do. Okay. Alrighty. Hingy, hingy, hingy. It is fortunate that this one circle here is still here. And therefore, I can regulate the rest of it. It is unfortunate that this circle is just trashed. And I don't know how well that's going to work out. Uh, let's get that screwed down real fast. Okay. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing there. This hinge wasn't bent so much. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave the screen out for the moment. This bezel needs to go here. Those holes should be full of epoxy anyway, and the rest just kind of handles itself, I guess. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get these brass mounts on this front bezel. We're going to get them back in their holes the way they're supposed to be. We don't have to put the whole thing back together to do this, though. Yeah, kind of, but not really. Pull the Wi-Fi wiring out just enough that these bottom bits will go back down on their own. You can get some plastic to clip to kind of hold it for you. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't really have to be. Yeah, I think that previous repair is going to make this pretty difficult. I may, I may need to just go ahead and put the screen in. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and drop the screen in because I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think my previous repair has made this so that we really don't have any options. Just have to screw the screen down too and hope for the best. I'm assuming that the screen will screw down in the first place. I don't even know if that's true at this point. Yeah, this side is really messed up. You can just take one look at it and see how bad it is. I may be missing a screen screw. That or it got picked up by something. No, I think it's missing. Huh. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, wait. It got mixed in. Yeah, see these little screws? You can lose them very easily. You have to hurry up. That epoxy is going to cure too much. Okay. We need to get all the wires right right now. Now or never. Wires and they have to wrap around the hinges. Remember that. They have to wrap around the hinges. They actually have to go through them. It's dumb, but it's true. God, I hate putting these in here. They couldn't make this more annoying if they tried. If they were actively going for being annoying, it would be less annoying than it is here. out of time, running out of time. See, this is the other crap, is that you get rushed and you end up having trouble 
and it's just not good. This really needs to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. And all these wires wrap through here, and they go down there, and that's about it. That is about it. Okay. Let's just let that lie. And put this down. Get everything snapped as best as possible. Because this is the end. There really are no other options now. We have to just let it go. It's going to do what it's going to do. Hope for the best. Secure this. Pull those wires out. No, the wires didn't make it out right there. Hang on a sec. Those wires through. Come all the way through. Come on now. Don't be a pain. the worst part of this whole thing. Getting these wires to not be a pain. Well, I can't get them out easily, so... In retrospect, I probably should have disconnected all the wires from the top half so I could work on it independently. But you know, sometimes something you think might save you a little time ends up taking more of it. Nope, don't get to undo though. Just have to patch it up and hope. Okay, this end is actually bad enough. It's sticking up bad enough. Uh, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do on these screens and clamp it right over the screw and not very hard. because that side really is in terrible shape. These damn wires, they don't stay. Well, at this point, at this point it all just needs to sit and it needs to cure and then I can take out whatever screws I need to take out. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to work. Oh, okay. Well, I can't show you reassembly because this stuff is gonna have to cure and I'm going to have to get these wires out of this groove. Once this stuff cures, I can take these screws out and then I'll be able to pop things apart again and it'll, it'll be all right. So that's how you fix the hinges on a Toshiba, I don't remember what model this is. The Toshiba Ultrabook, if you will. That's about it.